Hello everyone, this is your Kalpana here. So in this video we are going to see partial fraction. How to resolve a fraction into partial fraction. Okay, problem. So we are given a fraction 2x plus 1 by x plus 1 into x minus 3. So this is a given fraction. So here we have to check whether the given fraction is a proper one or improper one. Okay. So for that, we'll consider the total fraction as p of x by q of x. Here p of x equals to 2x plus 3 and q of x equals to x plus 1 into x plus 3. Okay. So the degree of p of x is 1 and the degree of q of x is x square plus 3x plus x plus 3 which is equal to x square plus 4x plus 3. So the degree of q of x is 2. Okay. So here degree of p of x is less than degree of q of x. Since the degree of P of X is less than degree of Q of X, then we can say that the given fraction is a proper fraction. Therefore, the given fraction is a proper fraction. Okay. So, here we are given a proper fraction. Okay, coming to the problem. Solution. Given proper fraction. Two x plus three by x plus one into x minus three. Okay, so now we are going to resolve it into partial fraction. Okay, so you can write it as a by x plus one plus b by x minus 3. Okay. So, you can write it as a into x minus 3 plus b into x plus 3. Simply we are going to take the LCM of these two denominators. Okay. The denominators of the two terms. Okay. So this is the LCM. x plus 1 ones are x plus 1 and this remains the same. x minus 3 Okay, x plus 1 into x minus 3 is a LCM. Okay, so this becomes 2x plus 3 by x plus 1 into x minus 3 equals to a into x minus 3 plus b into x plus 1 by x plus 1 into x minus 3. Okay. So you can cancel x plus 1, x plus 1, x minus 3 and x minus 3 on both sides. So you will get 2x plus 3 equals to a into x minus 3 
plus b into x plus 1. Okay. So, here consider it as equation number 1 and it has 2. Okay. So, now let us consider x minus 3. Let x minus 3 equals to 0. If x minus 3 equals to 0, then x will be equals to 3. Now, we are going to substitute x equals to 3 in equation 2. Okay. Substitute. x equals to 3 in equation 2. Then we will get 2 into 3 plus 3 equals to a into 3 minus 3 plus b into 3 plus 1. 2 3 is a 6. 6 plus 3 equals to a into 3 minus 3 is 0. Plus b into 3 plus 1 is 4. So this implies 6 plus 3 is 9 equals to a into 0, 0 plus 4b. So you got 4b equals to 9. From this you can find the value of b. b equals to 9 by 4. Likewise, take x plus 1 equals to 0. Let x plus 1 equals to 0. If x plus 1 equals to 0, x equals to minus 1. Simply you are taking plus 1 to right hand side. Then you will get x equals to minus 1. Now substitute x equals to minus 1 in equation 2. You are having equation 2, right? So here you are going to substitute x equals to minus 1. Then you will get x into minus 1 plus 3 equals to a into minus 1 minus 3 plus b into minus 1 plus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So you can get the value of a. Minus 2 plus 3 equals to a into minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4. Plus b into minus 1 plus 1 is 0. You get 1 equals to minus 4a plus 0. This becomes. Okay. So now you will get the value of a. 4a minus 4a equals to 1. So you can write it as a equals to minus 1 by so, you are having the value of A and value of B. Now, we can substitute the values of A and B in equation 1. Okay. You are having A equals to minus 1 by 4 and B equals to 9 by 4. Therefore, a equals to minus 1 by 4 and b equals to 9 by 4. Now, substitute a, b values in 1. So then 1 becomes, let me write 1. Equation 1 is 2x plus 3 by x plus 1 into x minus 3 equals to a by x plus 1 plus b by 
x minus 3. Okay. Now we are going to substitute the values of a and b. So this becomes 2x plus 3 by x plus 1 into x minus 3 equals to a. a is minus 1 by 4. Okay. Minus 1 by 4 by x plus 1 plus b. b is 9 by 4 by x minus 3. Okay. This becomes 2x plus 3 by x plus 1 into x minus 3 equals to minus 1 by 4 into x plus 1 minus 1 by 4 into x plus 1 plus 9 by 4 into x minus 3 9 by 4 into x minus 3 okay so you can also write it as 2x plus 3 by x plus 1 into x minus 3 equals to 9 by 4 into x minus 3 minus 1 by 4 into x plus 1. Okay. You are writing the negative term in the place of the second term. Okay. So here you can take 1 by 4 common. Take 1 by 4 common. Then you will get 9 by x minus 3 minus 1 by x plus 1. Okay. Actually this is your answer if you want. You can take 4. 1 by 4 common. So therefore 2x plus 3 by x plus 1 into x minus 3 equals to Therefore, 2x plus 3 by x plus 1 into x minus 3 equals to 9 by 4 into x minus 3 minus 1 by 4 into x plus 1. So, we have resolved the proper fraction into partial fractions. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.